we are the Dinner Ladies. My name's Steph. And I'm Eleanor. And today we are going to make fresh pasta and pesto. Right, let's get cooking. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. You got froth on your lip. <laughs> it's really important to use proper zero zero grade flour when you are making pasta. Because if you don't, then it can get really lumpy and it fails. You should always try and go for the best that you can possibly afford because it really does make a difference how it's been milled. Do we sieve? Do you want to sieve? No, do we sieve? Just try it if you want to. Make, won't make much difference because it's actually zero zero flour. 100 grams of... No, it's not. We're making 500 grams worth. Oh, yeah. So 500, 500 grams of, of zero zero quality flour. Will you sieve it into that? If I were you, you don't use that bowl. Press zero. No, press zero. It's zero zero flour. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Off zero. No, that's ounces. <laughs> press grams. Okay, we're on. Grams. So five, Sieving. 500 grams. This isn't really necessary, but Steph wanted to sieve. <laughs> you did. You didn't want to sieve. I just asked you whether we should sieve or not. Bang on. Oh, that well, isn't it? It's 501, isn't it? I'll let you off. So that's good. It's 501. If you keep that down, then well, you no. won't lose any because it's coming out over the sides. So. I'm now going to toast the pine nuts. Why? Because they can no, taste no, nicer. No, not yet. Yes, but they need to they need Not to yet. Cool. We've got, no. Hey, no. You, you, no, 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 reason is because this has got to go in the fridge to cool. No, but these have to cool. It. No, not yet. Eleanor! Please, not yet, because you've got to keep them fresh. I'm actually with Steph on this. Yeah, because you don't want to grind up the pine nuts whilst they're still warm, do you? I agree. Fine, do them now then. Thanks, Crib. Another chef in the house. <laughs> Just don't take your eye off them because we're stuffed otherwise. <laughs> Low heat. Always toss. Right. Come on, babe. Oh, you've got to keep. She's I've got, got keep my eyes on this. <laughs> you got to keep your eyes on I can't do okay, anything. Okay, I'll do this. This is a this is a magical moment. Magical moment. It is a magical moment. First of all, you have to make sure you have a very very clear, clean surface, and I've disinfected the, our surface here. What? What you do is you have it in a mound and you make a well. And the reason for making the well is so that when you crack the eggs into it, the goo from the eggs doesn't escape. This recipe is, as I mentioned earlier, 500 grams of zero zero flour, which we sift, three whole eggs and two egg yolks. Now separate the egg yolk from the egg white. You'll soon be able to smell the pine nuts. I can smell them, dude. Keep close eye on that, because then that is when they'll suddenly turn. So I've just been dry frying them, no oil, just pour them into the frying pan for about seven minutes. Nearly. You've let quite a few go into the hot there. Three. Don't. They're the most expensive nuts in the world, these. Okay, so the decorating in the kitchen. Some would actually think it's actually very trendy. If you'd like to look at the cuckoo clock and the uh, blue-white effects that we have. And also... or, or the lack of paint on the walls. We moved in and uh, this was the last room to get painted and we haven't got around to it. And I didn't trust Steph to paint it. Even though she's a good painter, not... Slash artist. Professional artist. You are a professional artist. You're very good to dining. Painter. Painter. Hi. Well, can we get on with this now? Whoops. Nothing? Boo boo. It's all right, I got it. Take my eyes off her for one moment. But they're good to go. Do you want to get your hands dirty? No. no. I don't want to. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, Eleanor yeah. likes to get her hands into things like this and meet mixers. It's disgusting. I love it, it's nice. Oh gosh. So I just um, break it up gently. Ooh. Keeping it in as much as possible. Squidge it in. I do. Well, like, get in there. All right, well you said you didn't want to do it, yeah, so what? 
the less you handle this pasta, the better. We're just looking for a for it just to come together, basically. Uh, we need some cling film, please, darling. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Fold it up. Okay, so that needs to stay in the fridge for about half an hour. Minimum. 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 I've left it in for longer than that, a lot of times. Minimum. So we have 50 grams of toasted golden pine nuts ready to go. Make sure they are cool before you add them into the mix. We've got a little Delia Smith. Oh, here's the postman. Hi. I think he's got something for you. Oh, go and get it. Hey. He's such a nice guy. Right, okay, so we need garlic, basil, a good handful. So this is a 175 gram pack of Parmesan. So okay. this is gonna be just under a third of this packet. I find that the best way of making life easy in the kitchen is by having the right tools. This has changed my life. It makes um, grating Parmesan a joy rather than it being a chore. Do you even need to grate it? I like to grate it. It's nicer too. And maybe because you wanted to show off your special tool. If you smash the garlic, then it makes it Put really in. easy to peel it. Pop it in. With pesto, it's all about tasting and seasoning it. Those ones you need to cut. Okay. Seasoning it to your own taste, really. Yeah. I might need a little bit of salt. Right, wait. We need to do have olive oil. Okay, 150 milliliters of why olive bother, oil. Why bother doing that? Just shove it in. Because we won't know the measurements. Stop! No, 150! Oh, yes, yeah, that was 50. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. It's good. Oh, there's a line there for 150. Well, I know. Okay. That's what I'm looking at. Only a little bit at first, see what happens. Put, pour it all the way around. Because if you get an even right. distribution of it, Go then it's easier. And then we can always put pour in. Would you like to press the button? No, nope, you can do that. Okay. Parmesan. So this thickens it up. So I always add this before I add any more basil. Now I reckon it's good to taste. Have a little taste. We need some salt and pepper seasoning. Well, let's taste it first. We don't know how salty that um, pep the uh, parmesan was. <laughs> Do you want to taste it? No, you can taste <laughs> it. Go no. and taste it. Boo, no. taste it. You taste it first. <laughs> it definitely needs the salt and pepper. Could have told you that. A lot more basil and some salt and pepper. Shut that in. It's pretty full. Nope. Right. Oh. Mm. That's better. Okay, so the pasta's nice and chilled. It's been in there for about half an hour. It should be ready to go. So the reason I've got the board out here is because I want to just chop it up and put it in dirt pieces to keep the rest of it cold. Because as you handle it, as you handle it more, it gets sticky and then it won't go through the actual processor. Boo, please could you get the flour? Because you need to. So wrap up the rest, shove it in the fridge. Firstly, we're going to be using the KitchenAid flattening pasta roller. You start it off at the widest possible number, which is eight, and then you bring it down to as thin as you want it. Now for tagliatelle that we're going to make, I usually do it to two or three. But you've got to be able to feed it in. So you bash it down a bit. Okay. So you feed it through. Ah, I didn't make a side <laughs> ah, bollocks! <laughs> oh my god! Was it not in properly? No. She didn't tighten it up. I didn't tighten the nut. Ah. Can you tighten it, darling? Make sure it's really tight. Okay. Thank you. Right, take two. Make sure it's really tight. <laughs> make sure it's really tight, otherwise. Oh, what's happening? Why is that? Ooh. They're not falling way through. No. Try oh, now. There we go. Just need boo boo hands on. That's too thin. What the hell's going on? 
Oh, I've got the numbers back to front. I've got the numbers back to front. <laughs> Oi! Leave me alone! I haven't used I said at the beginning I'd use it for a year. Start at one. All right, just get it out. Is one the thickest? Right. One's the thickest. <laughs> right, we need some more pasta. Is that not okay now then? <laughs> Call yourself a chef. Yay! Yes. Magic. When the pasta's not getting any longer, that's when you take it down a notch. <laughs> Steph always calls Tagliatelli. 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 I've just got to get the um, hanging rack out. Try not to handle it too much, darling. Handle it. Boo. <laughs> I don't know spare hand. Okay, right. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? <laughs> what is this? This, this is to handle the pasta. Let me turn this off. So, no, just leave it All like right. that. And then you dry the pasta on these little racks. Next machine. So this one's the cutter. Make sure it's all the way in, because you, you didn't have it all the way in. Let's feed it in. Keep them separate, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! Very good. It smells delicious. You're doing a perfect job. Well done, Babu. Then we hang it on our washing line. Somehow. Oh, it's, so it's like going over the edge. Yeah, okay. No, like literally going over the edge. Right. See? My other. It's going to fall off the edge. <laughs> Just separate it out, otherwise it sticks. Oh, God. Right, I'll get on with the next bit. So, if you don't want to bother with doing this pasta, because it is a bit of a, a ball ache, but uh, you can buy some fresh pasta or even dry pasta from your local supermarkets. And it's just as nice. Well, it's not really just as nice. Well, it's not. Well, the well, that's true. But if you don't have time, just buy it. Okay, large pan of water. It's got to be boiling water. Bit of salt. It's up to a rolling boil. We're then going to put pasta in the boiling water. Um, and that will go in for about three minutes because it's fresh pasta and it only takes about three minutes. Shove it in. Oh my goodness, quick, quick, quick. I want to keep it with water. That's done now. I reckon mm. that'll be done now. Yeah, perfect. Right. I, I, I'm just going to keep some water, so I drain the water into the pan, so that if I need any of it to thin down um, the sauce later, um, it, if it gets a bit too thick or congealed, it's a lot easier to reduce it with the pasta water and it's tastier. Now I'm trying to plate up. Let's take some of the freshly homemade pesto. Yep and we uh, spoon it on. What are you doing there? I'm just going to spoon some oh. on there and then we can mix it round a bit. Oh, okay. Why don't you just mix it in there? Just, that's as good as any. Right, give it a, right. And then flip it in and then some at the bottom of the pan. What the bottom of the bowl rather. There we go. And then I'll put an extra bit at the top. <laughs> that really worked. Spread it a bit. I've spread it a bit, otherwise it's going to mix. There you go, try now. Oh no. It's good. I think you need some water. Just some more? Yeah. Go for it. Yum. Smelling absolutely delicious. You can smell so the fresh. garlic burrata on top. Ooh, look at that. Delicious. Yum. Okay, let's try it. See what it's like. Looks delicious. Pasta looks really good. Smells lovely. so good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is yum. Yeah, really good. Mm. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Mm.
Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you want to subscribe to watch us more, subscribe to the dinner ladies. The dinner thanks. ladies. Thanks very much. Thanks the for DLs. watching. <laughs> DLs. Love you.